Our missiles have failed. The comets are still headed for Earth. And there's nothing we can do to stop them. So this is it. If the world does go on, it will not go on for everyone. We have now been able to calculate the comet's final trajectories. And we have determined where they're going to strike. The smaller of the two comets, Biedemann, will hit first. Somewhere along the Atlantic seaboard, probably in the waters off the coast of Cape Hatteras. In just under 12 hours at 4.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The impact of the comet is going to be, well, disastrous. There will be a very large tidal wave moving quickly through the Atlantic Ocean. It'll be 100 feet high, traveling at 1,100 miles an hour. It's faster than the speed of sound. As the wave reaches shallow water, it's going to slow down, but the wave height, depending on the depth of the shelf off the coast, will be anywhere from 1,000 to 3,500 feet high. Where the land is flat, the wave will wash inland 600 to 700 miles. The wave will hit our nation's capital 40 minutes after impact. New York City, Boston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, all will be destroyed. If you have any means of getting away from the path of this wave, leave now. The impact of the larger comet will be nothing less than an extinction-level event. It will strike land in western Canada, three hours after Biedemann. Within a week, the skies will be dark with dust from the impact, and they will stay dark for two years. All plant life will be dead within four weeks. Animal life within a few months. So that's it. Good luck to us all.